Welcome back to another video. In this video, we are going to talk about the multiplication property of equality. I hope you are having a great day and I hope you are open and ready to learn something new. Um, so what is the multiplication property of equality? Well, first of all, you use the multiplication property of equality when you are solving linear equations. So a linear equation is an equation of this form, ax plus b equals c. Well, what makes it linear, if you saw the previous videos, um, that you've heard this already, but if not, it's a linear equation, first of all, when it has an equal sign, it makes it an equation. And also when there's one variable, so a linear equation and one variable, so our variable here is x. And also when the highest exponent on that variable is one. And so there is no exponent written on this variable, but there's an understood exponent of one. And so this is our variable x, the highest exponent is one, there's an equal sign. So this is a linear equation. The a, the b, and the c just represent some numbers, okay? So whenever you solve linear equations, the goal is to get x on the side by itself. And so we talked about the addition property of equality before in a previous video. I'll include the link in the description as well if you haven't seen that video. Um, However, the addition property tells you that if you uh, want to add something to both sides, you can do it as long as whatever you do to one side, you do it to the other side. So with the multiplication property of equality, if we have that A is equal to B, then what it says is now, and you could probably guess what it says, is that if now if you want to come and you want to multiply some number to both sides, you can do that as long as, so two things here, as long as the number is not zero, and as long as whatever you do to one side, you do it to the other side. So the multiplication of multiplication, I can't even talk. The multiplication property of equality says that um, if we have the A equal B, then AC is also equal to BC. And it just says whatever you multiply on one side, as long as you do it to the other side, it doesn't change the equivalency of that statement. Um, and because division is the same as multiplication, so division is really multiplying by a uh, fraction. So since they're the same, then this also applies to division. So if you have that A is equal to B, then you can divide both sides by C, and then that's still an equivalent expression. So this implies that I can come and divide both sides by C as long as C is the same, and that doesn't change the equivalency of the statement. So let's look and see how this will work on some examples. For example, one, we want to solve 5x equals 60 for x. And so this is a linear equation, has an equal sign, has an x, has an exponent on x is 1. And so we can solve this by either using the addition or the multiplication property of equality. It depends on what the statement is saying. So remember, the goal whenever you're solving an equation is to get uh, x on the side by itself. And so I used a, a little analogy in the previous video, which is in the link, which is in the description below, um, that says think of each side as a house and think of yourself as the variable x and the goal is to be home alone and with some peace and some quiet. And so what you wanna do is get rid of everyone that's in the house with you. And so five is in the house with me if I'm x and so I need to get rid of five. Well, what does this say? This says five times X equals 60. So five times X, that means to get rid of multiplication, I need to call the spouse of multiplication. And also, if you didn't watch the previous video, there are four operations in math, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Addition is married to subtraction. Multiplication is married to division. Those are one. Addition and subtraction is one. Multiplication and division is one. So if I want to get rid of multiplication, I would do the opposite of multiplication or call the spouse of multiplication, which is division. So I would need to divide five in order to undo or get rid of that five. Now here's the multiplication property of equality. It says whatever you do to one side, if you multiply something on one side, you got to multiply it on the other side. And vice versa, if you divide something on one side, you have to divide it on the other side. So since I'm dividing five over here, I also need to divide five over here on the other side of the equal sign. The fives here go away because five divided by five is one. That becomes one X, which I don't have to write the one. And 60 divided by five is 12. And so now X is by itself. It's alone, home alone. And so this will be my final solution. X is equal to 12. And you could go back and plug it in for X and check five times 12 equal to 60. 
5 times 12 is 60, 60 equals 60. So yes, that checks out. So that lets you know that your solution is correct. Let's try another example. For example two, we wanna solve x over four equal three for x. And so we need to uh, solve for x. That means get x on the side by itself. So what does this equation say? How does this read? This read says x divided by four equal to three. So remember the goal is we wanna be at home alone in peace and quiet. That means I need to get rid of this four. Since this says x divided by four, then the way I get rid of division is to call the spouse of division, which is multiplication. So that means I would need to multiply four in order to get rid of the four, all righty? However, by the multiplication property of equality, whatever I multiply on one side, it's equivalent as long as I multiply it on the other side. So since I'm gonna multiply this side by four, I need to also multiply this side by four. The fours will cancel over here because four divided by four is one and I don't have to write the one. So that leaves me with one X and then three times four is 12. X is by itself, so this tells me that X equal to 12 is my solution. So you can also plug the 12 back in and check it. 12 divided by four is equal to three, so that checks out. So that's how you will work that example. Let's look at another one. For example, three, we wanna solve three, four, W equals six, and we wanna solve this for W, which means W is our variable, and we wanna get W on the side by itself. So I need to get rid of this three over four. So now there are really two ways I can do this. Um, and I'll show you both ways. But the first way is this says three fourths times W. So the first way to get rid of the three fourths is to divide three fourths because it says three fourths times W. So to get rid of multiplication, you call the spouse of multiplication, which is division. So that means I will need to divide both sides by three fourths. However, okay, so the three-fourths would cancel. That leaves me with one. Three-fourths over three-fourths is one because the numerator and denominator is the same, which leaves me with one W. But how do I divide six by three-fourths? So whenever you divide a fraction, you have to do what's called keep, change, flip. You keep the numerator, so the six stays the same. You change the division to multiplication, and then you flip the denominator. So that will become four over three. So keep, change, flip. You keep the six, you change the division of multiplication, and then you flip the fraction in the denominator, which becomes four over three. And so then you will have to multiply this. Six is six over one. So when you multiply you, fractions, you multiply across. So six times four is 24, and one times three is three. So six times four is 24, one times three is three. 24 divided by three is eight. So this would tell me that W is equal to eight. That would be my final solution. So that is one way you can work this, okay? Let me show you another way you could have did it. So three fourths W equals six. You can say this is the same as three divided by four times W. So I wanna get rid of the three and the four. You can get rid of those separately. So this, since this is divided by four, to get rid of division, I will multiply. So I can multiply both sides by four because of the multiplication property of equality. Whatever I multiply on one side, I have to multiply it on the other side in order for those statements to remain true. So if I multiply by four here, the four is counsel, leave me with three W and six times four is equal to 24. Now I need to get rid of the three. This says three times W equal 24. And the way you get rid of multiplication is you do the opposite of multiplication, the spouse called the spouse of multiplication, which is division. So I would need to divide three. The multiplication property of equality says whatever I divide on one side, I have to divide on the other side as well. So I would divide three on both sides of the equal sign. The threes would cancel. Three divided by three is one. I don't have to write the one. It's one W, but I could just write W. 24 divided by three is eight. So that is the second way you could work that problem. So you choose which way you like best and you work it that way, okay? Okay, this is the last example for this video. So what we wanna do is we wanna solve 5M plus 6M equal 33, and we wanna solve this for M, which means we need to get M on the side by itself. We need M to be at home and some peace and some quiet, right? So what do we have here? Well, M is not even all together first. So we need to make sure that we combine all the M's together, make M so that there's only one M present in the equation. 
Now, remember, whenever the M's are on the same side of the equal sign, then you just combine them together. You do whatever the operation says. So this is 5M plus 6M. Since they're on the same side, you just add those together. 5 plus 6 is 11. So that becomes 11M equal to 33. It's when they're on the opposite side of the equal sign when you have to do the opposite of the operation. But when they're on the same side of the equal sign, you do whatever the operation says, okay? So now this says 11 times M equal 33. So knowing how to read this is important because you have to know the operation in order to know what to do to get rid of that number. So I need to get rid of this 11 and this is 11 times M. So to get rid of multiplication, I have to do division. All right, the spouse of multiplication is division. So I need to divide by 11. That'll make my 11s go away. 11 divided by 11 is one. So that will become one M. However, because of the multiplication property of equality, it says I can't do it to one side and not do it to the other side. So since I divided this side by 11, I also need to divide this side by 11. And so 33 divided by 11 is three. So my answer would be M is equal to three. And again, you could go back and plug it in and check it. Five times three plus six times three. What is that equal to? Five times three is 15. 6 times 3 is 18, 15, and 18 is 33. So 33, it checks out. So this is how you will use the multiplication property of equality. So now, being able to use the addition and the multiplication property of equality will allow you to be able to solve linear equations. So you want to go now and check out the next video, which is solving linear equations using parentheses. And that will just allow you to bring all those properties together and solve linear equations all, all together. So if you have any questions whatsoever, make sure you include them in the comments below and I will respond. Um, if this video helped you, if it made sense, hit the like button. If you have any comments, you can just leave those. And thank you for tuning in. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell so you can get notifications whenever I drop new videos. Thanks for tuning in and I will see you in the next video.